Well, we've got some ratings for the third and final 60th anniversary special of Doctor Who. And they have lost more than 750,000 people. And that is bad. It's quite a bit of people that have just dipped. And I would imagine more are going to leave as the new season starts. So... This is embarrassing for BBC. And to be honest, this is what they deserve. David Tennant is out there running around talking about how he's not done annoying people and that he's going to push the message with this show. That In fact, the only reason he really came back was to push the message. Uh, there's some interesting rumors coming out about this show. So apparently uh, there's a theory that David Tennant is going to become a villain, something called the Veil Yard. It's some kind of evil time lord that apparently Doctor Who has been told he will become in the future and bring about destruction. I can't think of a better way to push the message than than to have the new Doctor Who take down the evil, old, tired white man. That's why I think by the way that they are pushing things with this and the things that they're saying, I think that that is a likely a likely thing to happen. Though, to be fair, you know, it is just a rumor. But, I mean, <laughs> think about it. So, that's just another thing that I'm hearing about. And what a way to piss off fandom than to do something like that. So they've basically taken this doctor and Luke Skywalkered him worse than Luke Skywalker got Jake Skywalkered, if that makes sense. The Luke Skywalker in the Disney trilogy is nothing like the Luke Skywalker everybody loves and remembers, and it seems like this is the same thing going on here. So let's take a look at these numbers to see just how bad they've started to destroy this fan base. Wait till they start shit without him, right? And now they've walked back the messaging too. This is why this is why I think that theory that he's going to become a bad guy is likely cuz they're talking about, "Oh, don't worry. We're not going to abandon we're not going to abandon the 14th doctor. We're going to still keep tabs on him and find out what he's doing." I wonder is that his journey to the evil side? Uh, Fill me in if you know all about this lore. I thought it was interesting. I've learned learned a little bit about this show over the past couple of weeks, almost enough that I want to watch it, but I'm probably not going to do that and give it another chance because I know where it ends up. It ends up with Jodie Whittaker and this shit and the... And the timeless children. And it's like, what, do, you really, do I really want to get pissed off about all of this? Through another franchise that I would start to love and, and have it turn into shit? So, I don't know if I want to. But, listen to this. Doctor Who God reports that the first special, The Star Beast, saw viewership at 7.61 million. Viewership declined to 7.14 million with The Wild Blue Yonder. That was a drop of a little less than half a million people. Percentage-wise, it was just over a 6% drop. The third episode, The Giggle, saw its overall viewership decline to 6.85 million. That's a total decline of 760,000 individuals from the Star Beast percentage-wise. It's just shy of a 10% decline. The third episode declined a little less than 300,000 people from the Wild Blue Yonder. It declined a little over 4%. The overall declines mirror the overnight ratings that had been previously released. The Star Beast had a rating of 5.8 million viewers, while Blue Yonder clocked in at 4.48 million, and the Giggles' overnight ratings were 4.62 million. The overnight ratings declined 5% from the first to the second episode. It declined over 9% from the first to the third, and the decline from the second to the third was over 4%. If you compare those to the most recent Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker, 
they look really good, at least if just looking at the fall off. Whitaker's Who had a much higher viewership its first three episodes. It goes on to talk about it. It's just, it's not good. And it, sh- it should be a lesson. It should be a lesson to companies not to do this, but they keep doing it because they knew exactly what they're doing. If they were to try to grab new characters to tell a message, no one would no one would tune in. But if they grab a franchise that you love, oh, how easy it is to just take it and inject it whatever, with whatever they want to. So, yeah, I, I do think they turn him into a villain, and this guy stops him. I also hear he's going to be in a uh, love triangle with a woman and a dude. So that'll be that'll be fun. Sure. Uh rom-com melodramatic r- uh romance is exactly what sci-fi lovers are looking for in a Doctor Who show. So that'll be fun. But I this I'm surprised that there's still millions of people that watch this. And those are worldwide numbers, I would assume. Disney's got their hands on this, by the way. That's lovely. Disney's actually giving them notes. I was reading something the other day that they get lots of suggestions from Disney. Lots of suggestions. And I'm thinking, are they suggestions or are they orders? (laughs) Because Disney's invested some money into the property now. And uh, that is never a good thing for fandom. If Disney is ever entangled in your franchises that you like, you pretty much just assume it's going to go to shit. So, you know, sorry, Doctor Who fans. You guys have been going through it for a little while, too, but it seems like it's just going to get worse. And it's crazy because, you know, it's it's a popular showrunner. People liked him, and he comes back. There was excitement. I remember uh, there was excitement on some FNT episodes, like Nerd Roddick and them were talking. Yeah, David Tennant's, uh, not David Tennant, uh, was that his name? Not David, Russell T. Davis. It's coming back, and Tenet's coming back, and maybe this will be a good thing. And it wasn't. They weren't totally sold on it, but who thought he was going to come back and just run it into the ground like he did? Did anybody? Crazy. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.